Well, as a congressman, of course, we should expect the president to lay out the roadmap for the coming six years. And it being his persona, it is, of course, of the utmost importance that it really sets the tone. And like I said previously, I think we will all be very happy with what he has to say. I think we will be very, yeah, very, very happy with the way the State of the Nation address will be held. I saw him, I was with him the last few days when he was writing it. Uh, so I can tell you all that pinaghirapan talaga niya. And he put a lot of effort to make sure that he addresses all the most urgent issues that our country is facing, lalo na tungkol sa ekonomiya. Uh, as a son, I am very proud that today we will get to see uh, my father deliver his first state of the nation. I am, a, I am a proud son and I'm excited for him because I know how much he has prepared for this. I know how much effort he puts in his speech. Yes. I don't want to preempt the president, ma'am. Uh, we will hear. Uh, we will hear what he has to say in about I don't know what time it is in the next two hours. So I think it's best that, with regards to the tone that is set, we hear it from the man himself. I'm sorry, Paul. Sir, mga po na pinail ko. On the first day of Congress, ma'am, I filed 10 bills. The first being the guide uh, the guide bill, which aims to provide 10 billion in credit for MSMEs via DBP and Land Bank. Uh, the other bills were, of course, right-sizing, which I'm sure is a word that you have all heard a lot during uh, the start of this administration. And that is just to do with making sure that the government stays lean and efficient. A lot of the roads are sometimes doubled up, so we need to make sure that the uh, the necessary agencies are uh, working as efficiently as possible. The other ones are, of course, to do with digitalization and the digitization of certain processes in government to make sure that, I guess, the most politically correct way to say it is human error is taken out of the equation. Uh, so that is part of the Internet Transaction Act and the E-Governance Act that uh, I put forward as a congressman. I think it I, I just said the bills, the bills that I filed. Are you, are you referring to the president? Or me? Uh, well, like I said, the eh, um, most issue that we are facing is the As the question of the uh, and of course, the rising price of oil, food security. So these are all things that come up time and time again when analyzing where. So I'm sure that the things that will come up again, 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 and again, uh, once our president takes the floor inside the past. Thank you, guys. Salamat